what are you about to start? I'm starting. Okay. What's going on, folks? I want to show you how you would be um, testing your microwave just in case for some reason it's not working. A lot of times what can happen is, say, for example, you turn your microwave on and the timer comes on when you shut your door, but nothing happens at all. A lot of times it won't spin. You won't hear your actual magnetron come on and or a fan or anything like that. So a lot of times what that tells you is most likely your magnetron is fine as well as most of the other components in your microwave is fine. And what's most likely wrong with it is one of the most common things that go wrong with a microwave is this right here, which is your door switch. Most microwaves have several different door switches on them that are basically um, activated once you close your door. So once you close your door with a microwave, these things make contact. And this is what pretty much sends the power or the signal to your microwave until it start working. So there's an easy way for you to test to see if it is your door switch that's wrong. But like I said, if you're having those issues with your microwave where you close the door, the, the, the time comes on to act like it's counting down, like it's actually working, but it's doing nothing. And most likely it's a door switch issue. This is what it was with this one right here. And sometimes if you take them all the way out and you press this little switch right here, you should hear like a clicking sound. See, this one right here is not making a clicking sound at all. So that tells me that this door switch right here pretty much is messed up. And if I press it really hard, how you hear that click? If I press down on it really hard like that, you're here to click. The problem is, is that once you're closing your microwave door most time, that's not going to press it all the way below like where it's supposed to go. At. Like I'm pressing it way down inside of it further than what the microwave itself door would press it down so in this microwave right here this switch right here was bad but there's a way you can test it without removing it from out of your microwave as you can see inside of this one it has three switches it has one down there one right here and it had one at the top which is the one that was bad in this microwave but to test them all you need basically is just to use you a multimeter and what you want to do is put it on your continuity setting. You can see right here I have mines right here on my continuity continuity setting. Have my black and the common and I have the red over here and this one at the end right here. Go ahead and look at your um your montage to make sure you have the right settings. But just have it in your continuity setting. And on these switches right here, when you look at it, the bottom terminal right here, the one that's at the bottom like that it's going to be a common. I don't know if you can see that. That's your common terminal right there. And this one right here is where you're going to put your red lead at. You want your black one on this at the bottom. And you want your red lead to be on the top. And regardless of how it is, it may be in upside down like that. Just know that the, the one at the bottom like this, even though it's not at the bottom no more because it's at the top. But you see where it's set. It's like coming off of the middle of your door switch so this one's going to be your common and this is going to be where you put your red lead at oh. so if you look closely at there you could tell what size you need if you see right here this one is a 15302c so this is the size that you would need. So if you find the one that's wrong with yours, you need to look at this number right here and get the exact same one to replace the one that's bad in it. But to test it, let me show you right here. As you can see, what I did right here was I want to test this one. So you can pull these wires all the way off of here, but I just pulled it kind of back some so I can see the metal exposed here and here. And now what I'm going to be doing is just take it. Like I said, remember the one at the bottom is always going to be your black lead, your comment. So you see this one right here is at the bottom, even though it's like on top has position, but it's actually like on the bottom of it's coming out the middle and this one's coming out the front. So just remember the one coming from the bottom out the middle of the one coming from the middle is always going to be your comment on most of them. 
So I'm just taking my lead. I'm just going to stick it right in there. If you can see that kind of in the way. I'm just trying to get it stuck in there. Okay. I got that one in. So now what I'm going to do is. It just take, and remember, you don't have to, you definitely want to make sure your microwave is unplugged. It's completely nowhere near an outlet. You don't want to have it plugged up doing this stuff. Microwaves can be very dangerous. As you can see here, it has, you know, a powerful magnetron inside of it. It has, you know, different components inside of it that can be dangerous. So definitely you want to have it unplugged. And now that I have that one in here, what I'm going to do now is just come in with this one. And just touch on that wire down there. Now, if your door is shut, you should hear your multimeter. You hear it? See how it's making that noise? Because my door is shut. So it tells me that this door switch is operating correctly. See, if I take it off, it stops. Touch it back on there. It comes back on. So this tells me that this switch is good. And also, like I said, if I open up the door on the microwave, I'm opening this door up on it. If I open up the door on it, now when I touch it, it's not going to make, it's not going to have continuity on it. Uh, let me stick this one back in there. See, now that I'm touching it, it has no continuity on it, so it's not going to make any noises on it. So this is how you would go through and test your switches on your microwave. If you can see right here, I have another switch that's down here. Like I said, on this one, there was three switches, one at the bottom, one in the middle, and one at the top. So it just depends on what switch is for. It's going to depend on which part of your microwave is not working. And like I said, when you're getting your switches, a lot of times you can also tell because the switches I have like different colors. Like this is the, like I said, this is a, a 15302C. It has a black switch that's on the top of it. But when you take the one out of your microwave, just make sure that you know which one it is that you need. And like I said, you, I'm going to show you a, a quick test right here on this one. As you can see right here, when I connect this multimeter to this one right here, it's going to do nothing because the switch is not being pressed in. So I'm putting, like I said, the bottom one down here is going to be a common. So I'm putting my black one. I'm just going to kind of slide it in like that. And I'm going to touch this one. And if you can see on the multimeter, as you can see on that, it's showing nothing. It's making no, con it's making no contact. But if I, when I press this button down, and I press down this button right here, it should come on. See, it's not doing anything because this switch is bad. But if I press it down really hard, it should click and you'll hear it. See, you hear the multimeter? That says it has continuity, but like I said before, that's not the way the door is going to press it in, which means the door presses it like that, about to the even part, you can see, and it's not going to work. There's no continuity. And like I said, so if I press it really hard, then it will go all the way down. It will work. So this is how you would test your door switches to see if they're bad. Like I said, you have multiple different switches. So you have multiple different switches that's going to be inside of your microwave. I have one here, one there, and one there. So you want to test the ones that you could test easiest first. And if those aren't right, you may have to actually remove this whole piece right here. That these things are on that actually comes out. There's two screws in here. There's a screw that goes right here. And there's also another screw at the bottom down there. If you can see it on this microwave. Which happens to be a Hamilton Beach microwave. So on this one right here. You would take those screws out. You take those two screws out. This whole back piece will come out. That has all of your door switches on it. Then you'll be able to get to it. Like I said. So test the ones that you could test first that you can get to. Like I said, this one right here, I just kind of pulled it out some. It's on like that. I kind of just came in, kind of wiggled it back some. That way I'm able to get just a little bit of the metal 
to make contact Another with the test tip. And when you're putting your door switches back in here, you see right here I'm putting this middle one back in. There's one down here and this one's supposed to touch that. But you want to make sure that this little white piece, white piece right here, especially if you remove the whole like little door assembly, doors, um, switch assembly, make sure this white piece right here is facing up like this. That way when you pop in your, your um, new door switch like that, this right there, when this presses down, it should press this one up. Inside of this one, if you're in the middle one, and it also should press that one down. But once again, folks, this is how you would be testing your door switches on a microwave. And also, how to know which um, door switch you would need to replace it with by reading the numbers that's on it. All right, please check out our other helpful videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.